Hello there. It's nice to see you in this video. The show called Bobski is alive and well and happening now. And in this episode, we say, hey, if, if my son or my daughter ever watched this video sent from the future, past, present, now, <laughs> You know, just in the spirit of fun and honesty and truth and just doing an art piece that maybe no one will even watch or maybe even the battery will die or I'll run out of space during this. And then it just gets deleted or whatever, so. But the idea here was just for shits and giggles, what would come up if it was like, yo, if Abbott was watching this, Ari was watching this, if their mom is in the state of mind that I think she's in, which is basically, it's like, oh, Bantino and Lexi and Ash don't think Ryan's very cool. And uh, I think they're the cool kids. So I'm going to go be with them. And then once uh, the to Pennsylvania thing doesn't work because my dad's an idiot, um, I'll go marry some bozo off of uh, Tinder that lives in his parents' basement and uh, teaches yoga part-time. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all, you know. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But anyways, Bree Swain, Bree Smith, Bree Birchnell, Bree Birchnell. That's what that is. There it is right there. If people just said that, it would probably kill your mom's demon that's really Bentinho and Pete and Ash, the guys going like, Ryan sucks, so we'll take him out for you with your dad. And then Bree's like, good, I hated that guy. I'm going to go be with Tom now and probably talk to Tom about Ryan all the time. Meanwhile, Tom knows, oh, she's never gotten over Ryan. I mean, of course. How could she have since we started dating, like, shortly after she got divorced? You know what I mean? Like, it kind of takes some time to heal and to thaw out and all that shit. So if you jump into a new thing, covering it up, thinking like, oh, we're doing great and we're moving out, we're having fun. At some point, the steam of that bullshit runs out because it was my steam. It was my ground. It was my momentum. It was my life. It was my good vibes. And Bree tried to take the life and get rid of me. And it was just like my lawyer, Mr. Pat Micah said, back when I was working with him, when Bree was dragging me through all this course, she, and her dad, Harry, when Harry and Ann and all of the people who worked with them, all the people who turned on me and Abbott and Ari. I mean, cause that what those people, what those people don't realize, it's, it's horrible actually. And if Abbott and Ari are watching this, like my heart goes out to you because what happened to you guys was fucking horrible. Because what happens is when it's happened a lot, when a group of people decides to do what they did to us, they're so stupid and they're in a fight or flight reptile black and white response mode where there is no long-term thinking, no emotional content at all about like, hey, maybe this isn't the right thing. It's like people freaking out and like killing somebody. That's what they did. That's what they did. And the horrible part about it is that they then treat Eb and Ari as though they never had a dad. So really what this is, a love between father and daughter and father and son doesn't matter to those kids at all because moms know what's best for the kids and they're the better parents. And so all the women will go along with it when a woman says, this guy's endangering my kids. They go, oh, okay, we'll take him out for you and we'll get our stupid pussy whipped bitch ass husbands to do it for us like Michael Clinton did. And if Abbott's watching this, you remember what happened when you got taken from me, buddy. You know who did it, the Clintons. And then Richard, and Richard told the police, right? Cause he, you heard him tell me on the phone, right, Ab? Richard said, I told the police that I would give you Ab at my house. And I was like, I don't wanna go to your house. He's like, well, I told the police that's where I would give them back to you. So the, says, how retarded are they, Ab? That ri what Richard doesn't realize, and I could have said back then is like, oh, so you lie to the police cause you're not giving the, the son back to the dad as you said you were going to. So you lied to the police, Richard, and you lied to Ryan when you ever used the word bro or brother or anything that would denote 
someone who is on the same side as each other, which really ends up being like, you know, no side. You see the good in others and you know the friendship that is available for all. You don't do things like take another man's kids. Anyone who took my kids and thought they could get away with it, it's like God's going like, Do you know Ryan? Do you know what he's capable of? Because if you fuck with my son, that's on you. He didn't he didn't ask you to do that. He didn't make you do that. You chose to try to take him out. To take him out. You did. I'm sitting here on the other side of death going like, guys. These type of things go through death and to the next realm. That's why I'm so calm and confident. I'm already like, I'm already resting in peace. And that restfulness that really has been present here since the beginning of all this turmoil. That's what they've been attacking. That's what you've been attacking. My love, my heart, my light, which has been peaceful through and through and through and through and through. Anyone who ever thought that they rightfully put themselves in a place where they could judge me as less of a parent than them? They know when they hear me say this right now that they're wrong because they know that they don't even think that they are a great parent. So if you do something like you did to me and in your heart, you know, you're not even the best parent or a great parent because, you know. It's hard, and how would you know? You're not perfect. So if you did the thing against me, you were coming from a place as though you're perfect, and you get to decide that I'm imperfect, and you get to take me out without a fight. That's terrorism. <laughs> That's what that is. That's terrorism. And it will not stand in God's country. And everybody that sees this, and here's my voice, that was involved with this, It's not gonna go away because it's a priority of heavens. So, good luck. And you gotta just know through it all, you made the choices, right? Anything you did against me, I've been friendly. To everybody who I would be talking to right now, I've been friendly. I have been positive. I have been present. And I have been available. So if you decided to be involved in a thing against me, thinking that you were never going to see me or talk to me again because you'd just win and keep going, no one would really ever see or hear from Ryan again. And his kids would just get treated as though like, oh yeah, your dad never existed. Let's pretend like your mom's life is cool. And everyone should know, the last thing that Bree said to me when we were in a conversation where, you know, before things twisted to where we like couldn't see each other at all, the last thing she said to me is my biggest fear in the whole world is that your life becomes more cool than mine. That's what she said to me. Like, Honey, you're never out of my life no matter what you do to me or no matter where you go. You're always a part of my life and here in my heart. Naughty girl.